Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My husband wants an open marriage now that he's successful. I told him it's either Maine or I'm leaving. My husband of eight years spent his 20s and early 30s building his business. Part of the reason why he turned to being an entrepreneur was he had a tough time holding down jobs, to the point having a business was the only way he could earn money. Either a supervisor was too dumb or controlling, or because my husband didn't have the degree or experience required for the jobs he could tolerate, or the hours at the jobs he had were horrible. I understand his struggles with all those reasons, and when we started dating 14 years ago, I was the primary breadwinner simply by nature of the fact that I had a steady source of employment. My husband told me that I was only the second serious girlfriend he ever had. He did have a few hookups here and there before we met, but mostly with women much older than him that never went beyond one night stands. When we started dating, he was the one always actively trying to pursue me and telling me how lucky he was to have me, saying I was worth the world because unlike other New Yorkers, I noticed the invisible people. Flash forward nearly a decade and a half, and now we are married with two daughters, eight and five. Things started working out for us around age 35, and I've never been anything but supportive. I quit my job to take care of our kids after he moved us to a nice Connecticut suburb. But these past few years, he's been treating me differently. Like me and our daughters are a source of annoyance. He's a part of a bunch of professional organizations, and his own company loves a good party, but I am increasingly not his date to any of them. When I am alone with him, he at least talks to me, but if a beautiful girl joins the group, it's game over for me, and I'm excluded from his social interactions from that point forward. He talks to people with an earshot about how beautiful this or that woman is. He tells me he's allowed to find other girls pretty. The final straw was during a company family thing where my daughters and I arrived and my husband ignored us until somebody said hi to us. Then he waved his hand at us like he was bashful of our presence and dismissing us. In addition, the way his younger employees acted towards me made me suspect he was lying when he said he was going to these things without a date. Now we are in therapy and my husband is saying that he wanted two years of a test open marriage where he could explore sexually in a way he was never able to in his 20s. He says while I had the chance to play around when I was young and attractive and other guys that warned him could he never could. I told him this is not what we signed up for and that I didn't think it was the charitable thing for a wife to do. He accused me of liking the lifestyle he provides and said to go carve out my own life instead of complaining. I told him if he has sex it has to be with me or I'm leaving. Am I the a-hole and not understanding his struggle? I broke off my engagement because of my fiance's toxic family. Now, he's angry I won't become a part of it. I know people will say that I am crazy, but my gut tells me I am right. This was supposed to be the first time I am meeting his parents. He has two sisters, mom and dad. I was excited to meet my future in-laws, but it shattered. Few days ago, I met his family. Some things about them just didn't sit right with me. His mom is very possessive about him. Like the first thing she said when she saw me was, so you are the lady that keeps my son busy. I know it sounds like a joke, but she said it in a condescending tone. Throughout the entire gathering, she was trying to avoid me. She would get irritated whenever I got closer to my fiance. She made one very mean comment when I asked her for a piece of pie she made. She said I will not be able to fit in my dress if I eat any more of it. She deliberately made me sit far away from him so that she could sit beside him. I knew she didn't like me, but I tolerated that. But she was way too harsh on her oldest daughter. She keeps making comments like when are you getting married and if she still can't get over Ben, her bill. The thing is Mia, oldest daughter, used to date Ben until he dumped her to be with the younger sister, Jen Jen isn't very nice either. She was mean to Mia and kept bugging her to get a husband. Mia is 33. I don't think she needs to rush. Jen also didn't like me because she made some snide remarks about my upbringing. I grew up in an abusive household. I had to struggle a lot, whereas my fiance came from a well-to-do family. His dad didn't speak much. He didn't say anything and just nodded. The only normal person there was Mia because she just kept to herself. But nonetheless, I did not feel very welcomed by them. I just had this gut feeling that if I get married, this will be my whole life. I would always have to be in competition with his mother. But he is so nice and sweet. I never felt so in love with anyone like I did with him. He brings me flowers, he takes care of me, he treats me like a queen. But I do not like his family at all. I broke it off with him. He was understandably sad. He asked for a reason. I just told him I didn't feel good about our relationship, that we are not compatible. There were tears, but I left. Now I am sitting in my aunt's house writing this. One moment I felt like calling him and telling him I had cold feet. 
We are perfect together. We earn well, we have similar hobbies, and we are sexually compatible. But this one thing about him just bugs me a lot. I am heartbroken. I know I don't deserve to be because I was the one who called it off. I just talked to his sister Mia on the phone. It was a surprise to me that she wanted to talk. She got the news of us breaking up and asked if we could talk on the phone. I agreed. I was desperate to hear any news from him. We talked for like an hour or so. It was mostly her telling me how her family was toxic, that I made the right decision because her mom had a weird obsession with her baby boy. Also, she doesn't know why she is the black sheep of her family. She was not adopted, nor was she in a fair child. Overall that day, she wanted to warn me. I asked why my ex doesn't treat her right. She said my ex is in delusion that they have a picture-perfect home, but he doesn't realize how toxic his mother is. She did bring it up with him, and he just said that they are family. So family shouldn't hold grudges. Honestly, I felt bad for her. She also said she will be going NC with her family. She thought she could salvage their relationship and let them be a part of her life, but she decided she doesn't want that. She also shared some personal information about her relationship status and future, but I do not want to share that. It's not my place to share it. But she told me to meet him and tell him the truth. He deserves to know why I don't want to be a part of his family. He needs to hear the truth. I will be meeting him tomorrow. I did it. I finally talked to him. I told him everything that I mentioned in the post, and also about my feelings for his family, especially how they are treated me and needless to say he was upset. He tried to convince me this is all in my head, that I shouldn't throw away our relationship because of his family. His family will accept me if I become a part of it. I tried to explain things from my own perspective, but he wasn't budging. Then the topic of Mia came. He said it is unfair that even his sister is abandoning the family. He mentioned Mia's big news, and she said she doesn't want to be a part of their family. I told him I knew about it because I talked to Mia that seemed to upset him even more. He is pissed that Mia shared her news to me before his family. I got angry and told him this is exactly why I do not want to be a part of his family. Her mother has made racist comments to me. I'm half Bengali. His mother treated me like an outsider and didn't make me feel welcome. His family is very toxic. I grew up in a toxic family. I don't want to live in one. Maybe someday he will find a woman his mother approves of. But that woman is not me. We had a big fight. He was obviously defending his family. He was not willing to listen what I had to say. Overall, he was very dismissive. We ended our conversation in a very bad note. I am sad about it. Aside from his family drama, he was a good guy. But I don't think I can handle his family, because you don't just marry one person. You marry their entire family. They didn't even bother to know me at all. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.